What's happening everybody? I'm gonna do a little mail time, unboxing, unbagging some stuff. In this bucket right here, I have some interesting things, I hope. Went to the post office this afternoon. I, I go check it like every two or three weeks. I always forget. So I went today and there was some other stuff in there. I couldn't get the key to open up. I had to wiggle on it for like 10 minutes. There was stuff, there was stuff blocking it. So I got some, hopefully some cool things, got some cool stuff to show you. Uh, I have a, I do have a, I have a two bedroom house, living it by myself. I have a spare bedroom with nothing in it. I keep saying I'm gonna turn it into like a studio room. Well, I just keep saying that because I haven't done anything with it. So right now, nature is my studio. And uh, this is at the very end of my property. It's kind of down in this little goalie. So it's kind of, except for the people yelling stuff over here, it's kind of quiet and nice and um, nice and shady down here, except for, you know, the mosquitoes. So let's get right into it. First thing I want to show you is I got some giant swim baits. I actually just picked them up. Check out these guys. Big old fat swim baits. These are uh, homemade from uh, TN Fishing HD. Heath made these up, and uh, he's a, another YouTuber. I'll leave his channel information below, and uh, definitely go check him out. He catches a lot of huge bass. He definitely knows what he's doing. But he started making some swim baits, and uh, they look awesome, dude. They got some super awesome action. They're really fat. I don't know how well you can see it there, but but just a, uh, a really cool swim bait. I can't wait to check these out. I'll be trying to make a video using these and stuff like that coming up. So several different designs there. Uh, thanks so much to Heath at uh, TN Fishing HD. Um, that was the first thing. So I actually picked those up today, but also in the mail, let's start opening up a couple things. What? Georgia Outdoors. That's right. I get this from my buddy Mark. He, he signed me up for it. And um, it's got the, the Georgia Outdoor News. All these different magazines they make. There's, you know, there's tons of them out there, but there's so much information in them. And especially if you have like local ones or stuff that's near you. Like I live really close to Georgia. And I, I fish Georgia a lot, so I look through here and I always find something, learn something, you know, see what they're talking about, gives you really good ideas and learn things. So magazines are definitely a good thing to uh, have, and uh, I love getting that one. Here we go. Ooh, let's see here. I don't know who this is from. Hopefully I didn't cut nothing up in there. Man, sealed up good. Let's see here. Oh, what do we got? Oh, wow. Sweet. Two, two uh, Rebel Helgramites. All right, I hope you can see those. It's uh, the Rebel Helgramites. There's two of them. I used to have one uh, like years ago, and I don't even know where it's at. So um, it's a Rebel Helgramite Mature. But um, these, I haven't used these in a while. I really am excited about trying these out again. And I, I remember that they are like a slow sinking. So I, I think I would like twist them and jerk them in pause and they got a good cranking action. So little Rebel Helgramites, I love all the Rebel lures. And uh, I'm definitely excited about trying out those Helgramites. And mosquitoes flying in my ear. Hmm, doesn't say who it's from. I don't remember anybody telling me they're gonna send me those. I definitely didn't order them. So that's awesome. Thank you so much for these Rebel Helgramites. Um, I use the, uh, the Nico soft plastic Helgramai a lot, and I got uh, a couple other ones that I use, and these right here are definitely going to get used, and I guarantee you'll catch some fish. Okay, this big package here. Um, Resort International Bible Belt Publishing. Huh. Okay, let's check this out. Hey there, I thought you may enjoy the catch of the day as much as I do. Oh, that's right. Love your videos and your message. Come to Oklahoma City and look me up. God bless. Edward in OKC. Yes, I remember, Edward. I remember this now that you said you were going to send me this. And it is the catch of the day by, uh, catch of the day by Jimmy Houston. I am not a reader. <laughs> if anybody knows me, really, I don't, I don't read. I hate reading like books. But I'm definitely going to try. I got a book that another guy sent me. Um, and I'm trying to read it. And this is awesome because it's, okay, it's a devotional. So catch of the day. So every day, it's got every day, it's got like a, a devotional through it. I think I can make this. I can think I can manage this one. So it's got a, every day. 
see, you can see this. For every day, there's a little devotional that you go corresponds with the day, and I'm sure it's got a lot of fishing stuff in there. Oh man, that's awesome! Obviously, I know who Jimmy Houston is, but um, I just, I've never read it. So, dude, I, I'm really excited about getting that catch of the day by Jimmy Houston. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, let's move to this big box here. Um, from May in California. Okay, a little ways away. Let's see what is in here. Oh my goodness! Wow. Okay. Let me, sh let me read this note first. I think I know who this is from now. Hello, John. I'm a fellow angler that supports combat jigs. I'm sending these two inch swim baits because you mentioned you're just getting into swim baits. Yep. The lead jigs are from my kids. They sent you 1 16th and 3 36 ounce, plus a couple of weedless neds for your smallmouth fishing. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. And, oh my goodness. Look at this box. It is chock full. Oh, wow. Dude, there's a lot of them. So I've used uh, combat jigs uh, a couple times. And, um, dude, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's uh, this big old fat thing. Oh, these, uh, dude, I'll, these little swim baits look really, really good. Of course, I got some of these here, but the, that's awesome. Oh, these little crawls. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'm gonna open up one and take a look at it. All right, so combat jigs. Um, look at this little swim bait. Dude, that is so cool. That is perfect right up my alley, what I would use. It's almost like a little crappie jig. It'd be awesome for crappie bass in a creek. And I didn't know they had their own jig heads there, but they have, uh, so we've got jig heads, and it's got little, uh, the what's it called? It's kind of angle for the hook on it to uh, hold them in better. But let's set that up real quick. All right, so check that little guy at, out. Uh, that is going to wear out some fish. I can guarantee it. There's a lot of them in there. So thank you so much. I don't know if it was from Combat Jigs or it says from a friend that supports them. So, dude, I, I really appreciate that. That's a lot of different lures. I've got a few that I've been trying to use, and I definitely like using this little swim bait. So I, I guarantee you I will be trying a lot of those out. But that's not all. There's a whole other box here. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> More Nico Helgramites that I can lose. Just kidding. That I can use because I use them a lot. And they even sent me ooh, the three packs of Nico Helgramites. Uh, and they said something about some weedless jigs. Let's see. Holy cow. Okay. Dude, this is, this is getting even better. So, uh, like I showed you, more uh, Nico Helgramites, like three packs of those, and a bunch of jig heads. We got uh, several different ones, and this is just the size that I use. These are like the, the Ned Rig style, mushroom style jig heads. And there's a bunch, there's like 15 in that and 15 in that one, like five or six in those. Um, I'm gonna be catching a lot of fish on this stuff right here. Uh, I don't keep everything, like I'll, some people send me a lot of stuff and, um, man, mosquitoes. And I'm not just sitting here hoarding. I do have a lot of stuff, but I give a lot of this away. So if you do send me things, don't expect me to like keep everything and hoard it. Um, I, I've given a lot of these hugger mites away. I've even ordered them myself and given them away. And um, I, people send me stuff and I'll, I'll share it with you. So I, I'm not, if you send me stuff, I'm not hoarding everything and just keeping it all to myself. Also these little uh, Nico Dappy Sandworms. I don't think I've tried those yet, but. So I, I am sharing stuff, I'm not gonna just give it, but it also helps people, other people out. And a lot of times I'll use a couple pieces out of a bag and then I'll give the bag away to my nephew or you know a, a friend or something like that that I know. Like, hey, I, I tried these out. You, you, try, you should try these out. So I got a lot of stuff that I can keep and a lot of stuff I can give away. And that's what I like to do. I like to fish with stuff, but I also like to get other people trying things too. So, All right, so here's the combat jig heads. They're the Disco Fever is the color. We got three 30 seconds ounce um, and then one 16th, which I use those a ton. But these, these look a little, they're a little bit heavier and um, they're looking really good. So it's got all kinds of colors on them, but I kind of like bright colored jig heads. I don't think it makes any difference on the fish. They, they're gonna hit whatever they want to hit, but dude, that is a good haul right there. Yeah, the, I mean, oh, here's the weedless ones. Oh, it's even made by Combat Jigs too. Weedless 
one eighth ounce uh, jig heads. All right, you got to see these a little bit better. Let's see here. Yeah, check out these um, like weedless style uh, jig. I, I never use them. I'm always, I always feel like I'm gonna lose fish and not hook up on them. I don't know. But um, these are really got a really good wide gap. Uh, they'd be working awesome on a Ned rig or on the Helger mites, which probably gonna use them on the Helger mites. All right, there's one more thing here. It's just a letter. Let's check this out here. All right, so this uh, letter here is from Charles. Uh, just likes watching my videos. Uh, I'm gonna read just a little bit of it. Really like watching your videos. Um, I watch every one of them on YouTube, basically. Uh, the video, I, I like this part. The video I watched uh, really got me more interested fishing for bass. Um, keep making videos, because I watch every one of them. Good fishing. Dude, thanks so much, Charles. I'll, I'll try to get you that uh, that picture that you asked for. Um, man, that, that is really cool. I, I mean, I get a lot of messages from people, like emails and Instagram, which is pretty awesome that people go out of their way just to do that. But somebody sent me a, a letter, like, hey, I'm going to send this guy a letter. Somebody I have no idea who is, just sent me a letter. That's really neat. Well, thanks so much for watching. Um, I don't do a, I don't do an unboxing on everything I get, but I, if I have a few things, I like to share it just to kind of show people. Uh, what's going on and let people know that I got it um, if you haven't already subscribed hope you're subscribed to the channel um, that just helps keep up so that way it helps you to be able to watch more of my videos because that's what I want I want people to watch videos and um, if you haven't bought any one of these t-shirts I got these t-shirts uh, the link is below the video uh, they're just from an online company um, hopefully you're trying to get a few new designs coming in or try to get made I have to go get up with meet up with my friend and uh, try to get some new designs made because I can't do any of that stuff well, I can't tell you uh, how thankful I am for all the stuff that was sent to me. Um, it's not going wasted. You know, maybe you won't see it in a video. Maybe something happens and I don't get to use it. But um, I try to show some of the stuff. And uh, if I could fight these mosquitoes off, probably should have brought some spray down here. It's that time of the year they're all getting out. All right, well, I'm going to wrap this up uh, and drive back up the hill to my house.